Okay, hello everybody. We come today to our science lesson. Before we start on Zoom, I make here a video you can watch before or after. It is up to you. We speak about heredity. For heredity, what is it about? So when we have as example here our, te our textbook, we have here chapter 2. Chapter 2 is here on page number 29. One day I look into the mirror with my mother. I noticed that I look like her. Both of us have dark hair and brown eyes. So on our second page, on page number 30, we have there, whom do I look like? Observe the characteristics of both your parents. Observe your own characteristics. Compare your characteristics with theirs. Record and observe in the table below. So what means characteristics? Characteristics means the way you look, the way you are. So we have here as example we have the color, color of the eyes. So as example we take here Alice. So the color of my of her father's eye is blue. The mother's eye are brown. What do we say there? Dark brown. We say they are dark brown. And Alice she has light brown eyes okay color of the hair so I I have brown hair mother has black hair and Alice she has brown hair type of the hair so I have straight hair mother has straight hair and Alice she has straight hair too dimples none and Alice she got Dimples. Okay, so now you can choose. We have more characteristics as example skin color Skin color father is white mother is So for skin tone we have many 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 different colors so we have there for me white for mother we call it light oops light brown and Alice if there would be not so much sun is white too is white too okay then the next one what we have as example is bird marks Bird marks. Bird marks are the when you have white skin and you have some time so small brown dots. I show you this on Google. Let's see. So you see here as an example a bird mark. She has one on her cheek, and Alice she has bird marks on her body. So these bird marks are also as example half bird marks half. I have bird marks and mother none. So Alice she got bird marks from me. Half. Then we have many many other characteristics. Simple. Then we see this here. Freckles. Freckles. So if one parent has freckles then the daughter or the son get freckles too. 
so we have there freckles freckles so I don't have none oops none mother has none none means not have so and then Alice also has none okay I write here Alice upstairs Alice so make this okay so now what is there more what is there more what you can get through heredity the next type what we have here is the race for Alice for many other children too because we have different types of people race race means as example I show this here we have Asian as example so the Asian race then we have as example Caucasian race so the Caucasian so we have different type of people so for Alice as example I I my race is called Caucasian her mother is Asian and here we have a mix so she is mixed in Thai you say Lukun so that means she is half Caucasian half Asian she is mixed okay so you can do it of yourself as example we have also Chinese Thai partly Chinese partly Thai so we have many many different mix types of people so we usually not say as example Chinese we say they as example North Asians Northeast Asians and Southeast Asian so because it's not only a country so the people in Korea look also similar to the people in China or Japan so we have there North Asian and South Asian Northeast Asian and Southeast Asian then we have Indian types so we have there many different races in Asia so when we go down now here whose physical characteristics are yours similar to the most you fathers or your mothers so for Alice it is father so what's your conclusion for this activity so ah uh, for Alice looks very much Caucasian Caucasian so in the way she looks like she looks she looks she looks she looks like more like her dad so Caucasian and Asian so here in the book we talk about mother and father so where you got the traits from what traits did you get from so why do children look like their parents what are the characteristics that you have inherited from your father and mother how similar are you to your father or to your mother you may have curly hair which you have inherited from your father and the edges eyes from your mother as example so it depends on how strong the traits are from your mother and from your father as example 
if your mother has curly hair and your father has straight hair then you pretty sure will get curly hair from your mother because the trait is much stronger from curly hair than straight hair so that means you get the gene from your father too for straight hair but this genes hide in your body and the curly hair go in front of we studied this last time in the video so all traits go pass through from your parents but also from your grandparents so your grandparents genes are also in the in your in the body of your parents so you can also inherit genes from your grandparents so as example my father my personal father is 174 cm tall my mother she is 172 cm tall my grandfather or oh, first my grandmother my grandmother she is only 150 cm tall and my grandfather he was 1 meter 95 so 195 cm grandfather 130 uh, 178 cm paw so I not got the tall from your from my grandfather. Ah, uh, I not got the tall from my father. I got the tall from my grandfather. So the gene from my grandfather were in my father and this gene I got because I am much taller than my father, much taller than my mother, so I got the tall from my grandfather. So the study of heredity is known as genetics. Genetics means comes from the word gene. So in every cell, in every cell core is the DNA. We say there are also chromosomes. Chromosomes in the chromosome is the DNA from your family. So from everyone we are related to related means mother father uncle aunt in the same bloodline we share a similar DNA so if somebody as example make a DNA test your mother your father your grandmother your grandfather your aunt your uncle and compare the DNA with your DNA the doctor can see you are all family if somebody outside from your family then the doctor also can see this is not related so all organism reproduce offspring of their own kind what does it mean of their own kind elephant get offspring elephants it means baby elephants birds get baby birds giraffes get baby giraffes so but why do organism reproduce reproduce means why do they make babies yeah it's clear so if we people stop making babies in 100 years there are no people anymore so we ensure we make sure we stay as human on earth so they reproduce to ensure their, that their kind will continue to exist. That would happen, the organism do not reproduce. So what would happen? So it would extinct. That means, as example, if people stop to reproduce, if people stop to have babies in 100 years, there are no people anymore so this is the point for about reproduce if organisms do not reproduce their kind will die out and they will become extinct extinct means not have anymore so here we have as example traits and descriptions so we have as example here curly hair and straight hair 
the color of the hair it goes from black up to blonde or as example we have here the type of the hair growth So we have here as example the presence of a widow's peak. The widow's peak means that this here is V what goes here into the forehead or up where where is around and here we have the V. And the last type here in the book here is the types of the eye. So we have as example single edged eyelids, eyelids. So the single edged eyelid means as example a eye that is like that or as example double edged eyelids like this here so as example this here is a typical North East Asian eye this here more like South East Asian eye so I not like to say Chinese or Japanese or Korean it's not a country it's about the place where people come from that means China or Mongolia or 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 Japan or Korea these are just countries race doesn't make stop on a country so the same it's as example here we have the double I at let I let so we have here as example people in Cambodia, in Laos, in Thailand they have the same form of the eye but today is everything mixed today we have many 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 different mixed race so that means there is no stop in the race anymore there is a lot of mix in there so many many people in Thailand they have Chinese in their family so there is already Chinese Thai is mixed or as example Alice European and European and Thai here we have as example the color of the eyes it goes from brown eyes to blue eyes green eyes so there is almost no stop between brown and blue so we have as example dark brown eyes then we have as example light brown eyes we have hazel we have green eyes we have blue eyes or here as example dimples so we have dimples not have dimples is absent then the ability to run to roll the tongue so somebody are able to somebody are unable to so it's also a trait then we have here as example attached ears that means it doesn't have ear lobes this is the ear lobe the ear lobe here is attached and here is a freer ear lobe this is a very simple exercise you just match the young with the parents so as example we have here the big bear the baby bear we have here the dog the puppy and the parent we have here the tiger and we have here the sheep so it's easy to see the parent of someone so if you look as example at your parents and somebody look at you and look at your parents they see okay yes this is mum or yes this is pa because you look similar to them so here's example the question how do you know which young animal belong to the adult animal so because they look they look alike they look alike they look similar they look alike why do you think the young animals look similar to their parents because of heredity 
because of their heredity. That means they get the genes from the parents. So they look alike, they look similar to their adult parents. So here we have an example, what are the characteristics that can be inherited by the young animals? So as example, the color of them, of them fur, the hair, the color of them fur, hair. So as example, also the color of the tiger, the stripes. So we have there very many similarities also by the animals. So when you see as example the parent and the offspring by the animals, there are also similarities it's the same by us people. So by us people we see it more easy because we are used to people. So here as example with number five we have here an offspring as young and the parent as an adult they don't look alike they don't look similar because this animal has to go first through metamorphosis so what does it mean so it changed the characteristics absolutely so all caterpillars look about the same so as example as the parent were a caterpillar were a caterpillar it was also similar to the offspring now so the, the, the caterpillar does look like similar, does not look like similar to parents. Will it become a butterfly as it grows? So you can answer there with yes. It goes. It goes into butterfly so then we have here the next point what is your conclusion about this activity that means what do you think what is this activity good it is about to it is about to see we are uh, alike we are alike similar to our parents okay good now we go to our workbook so here was our exercise here are the correct answers from the exercise here we have heredity in the trunk different traits check this in your books if wrong correct it please we have here father and son we have here to look about them hair so both have curly hair so we answer here in the way in what way does the son look like his father both have curly hair so but why because the traits pass from the father so curly hair traits is stronger than straight hair traits okay so then we have here the connection look like a star that means who is the parent who is the, the child of the parent and here we have the answers about which is correct which statement is correct which statement is wrong all living things have the same physical characteristics physical characteristics means the look of the of the of the of the offspring so as example mother has mother has brown brown hair and the child has brown hair so she got the brown hair from the mother so physical characteristics heredity is passed from the characters from the parent to the offspring is correct so all living things have the same physical characteristics that means all living things so everything that is alive looks the same this is not correct so physical characteristics means the look of an animal so we have there an axe heredity is passed from the characteristic from the parents to the offspring 
So this is correct. You look similar to your parents. All living things can reproduce an offspring of any kind. That means a cat can born a dog, an elephant can born a bird. This is not correct. An elephant will always have an elephant baby. Heredity occurs in both animals and plants. That is correct. So plants also have heredity. Apple tree will be always the apple tree. So if a sour apple tree has has uh, the pollen from a sour apple tree, then the apples, the seeds will become also again a sour apple tree. So all baby animals look not alike their parents. It's not true. So some some baby animals not look same nor similar to their parents. So as example frogs, as example caterpillars and butterflies. So kittens may have different fur colors from their parents. So this is correct. So if as example paw is black and mother is gray, so the kitten become gray black. So there are different colors of hibiscus flowers due to variations. So yeah, this is correct too. So here was the exercise. Both the adult and the young have two legs. So both have two legs. Here both have thick lips. Both have a long leg, a long neck. And here we have irregular shaped leaves. And the last one both have long trunks so on this exercise we come today see you later alligator